Bro, why do you round your back like that? Well, there's actually a good reason for that. Let me explain. This is called a hollow body position and offers a better abdominal activation by engaging your abs through an active thoracic flexion. You can imagine it like the top of a crunch, but upside down. The hollow body position also increases the work for your serratus anterior, which is a fan-shaped muscle that's located on each side of your ribs. This muscle is responsible for scapular protraction, and also plays a critical role in stabilizing and facilitating your scapula in overhead movements. So to properly activate your serratus anterior, as well as your abs, make sure to protract your scapula and flex your spine on top of the push-up. But bro, that's not good for your back and posture. Well, let me think about it. No. Look, an active spinal flexion for just a couple of sets doesn't really harm your spine or ruin your posture. The truth is that your spine is made for movement and should be able to stabilize all positions to protect itself. What actually ruins your back is too little movement, a repetitive static posture, muscle imbalances, and too much load and poor form when working out. So rounding your back is actually a good thing? Well, it depends. Remember, we are talking about an active rounded back. So the purpose is to work against gravity by activating your muscles and get the full range of motion in your spine and shoulder blades. Now if you round your back passively because the load is too high, it's the opposite. In this case your spine is unprotected because your muscles are too weak to stabilize it properly. Please don't confuse this with a weighted Jefferson curl. It may look very similar on the first view, but here you are still able to control the movement. The purpose of this exercise is spinal mobility and stability by flexing and extending your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay, so if I understand it right, there's no problem rounding my back when doing push-ups because it's an active movement. Right? But there are some exceptions. Of course, it's a valid option to aim for a hollow body position on top because of the benefits for your core. However, in some cases it can be necessary to avoid the hollow body position because the protraction of the shoulder blades could also be a pain trigger when you deal with shoulder related problems. A neutral spine with a bit more retracted shoulder blades on the other hand often allows you to do push-ups either pain free or with just a little bit of discomfort. It's very similar to the bench press, where you also hold that slightly retracted position at all times. The only difference is that you shouldn't out your back when doing push-ups, while it's okay on the bench. Okay guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, make sure to check our step-by-step -step workout programs on kellymove.com. No matter if you are a beginner or already pretty advanced, we've got you covered.